Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Easy Learning Economics. This is Dr. Kaval. Today we will learn about elastic and its types. So we will talk about the price elasticity of demand and its types. Elasticity simply means that uh, the responsiveness of the consumers due to change in price. So elasticity of demand can be defined as that the rate of responsiveness of change in quantity demanded due to change in price. So how much quantity demanded increases or decreases with respect to change in price in simply we call it elasticity. So definition of elasticity, rate of responsiveness of change in quantity demanded due to change in price. So the formula for the elasticity of demand This is the formula for the elasticity of demand that the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price or elasticity of price is equal to change in quantity over quantity change in price over price is equal to change in quantity over change in price multiplied by P over Q. Here the delta represents the change. Change means Q2 minus Q1 new quantity minus original quantity. A uh, change in price means new price minus original price. So this is the formula for the last year of demand. So how much quantity demanded increases or decreases with respect to change in price. If we talk about the last year types, there are five types of last year of demand, perfect elastic, perfect inelastic, relative elastic, relative inelastic and unit elastic demand. When the quantity demanded responds to change in price, it means it's elastic demand. When the quantity demanded does not respond to change in price, it means it's an elastic demand. So there are five types of last year of demand. We have to discuss it in detail uh, one by one. So we are discussing here the perfect elastic demand. Perfect elastic demand means that the minor change in price leads the quantity demanded almost to zero or infinite. So number one, perfect elastic demand. When we talk about perfect elastic demand, under perfect elastic demand, the demand curve is horizontal. It is perfect elastic demand when the minor change in price means uh, minor change in price causes the quantity demanded almost to zero or leads the quantity demanded almost to infinity. For example there are five sellers selling the dollars in the exchange market and everyone is selling suppose at 160 rupees per dollar and one of them is selling at 159.9 so he is selling only 10 pesos less than the other sellers so the node consumer would like to go to purchase the dollars uh, from uh, sellers who are selling at 160 rupees but every consumer would like to go to the seller and demand for dollar from those seller who is selling at 159.9 pesos. So it means it's a perfect elastic demand because the minor change in price only the 10 pesa or 5 pesa difference of the price leads the quantity demanded almost to zero or almost to infinity. So this is the perfect elastic demand where Price last year of demand is infinity. The second type of last year of demand is perfect inelastic. When the consumer does not respond to change in price, whatever the price, the consumer is bound to purchase the same quantity and consumer does not change his quantity. The best example of perfect inelastic demand is the salt. Uh, things of addictive. For example, alcohol or anything, the price of salt is 20 rupees per kg. We are demanding 2 kg per month. And uh, if the price of salt increases or decreases to 100 or 10 rupees, we will not increase or decrease their demand for salt. So it's a perfectly inelastic demand. And under perfect inelastic demand, the demand curve is vertical. Here you can see that the perfect inelastic demand, the demand curve is vertical and the quantity demanded does not respond to change in price. When the price of salt is 20 rupees per kg and the quantity demanded is 2 kg. 
When the price is 10, the quantity demanded is 10. When the price is 5, the quantity demanded is 2 kg also. So the quantity demanded does not respond to change in price. This is perfect in elastic demand and the elastic price elastic of demand is zero because that the quantity demanded does not respond to change in price. Here the minor change in price when the dollar price was 160 and one of the seller is selling only 159.9 the demand increases to infinity but and the, and the seller's demand at price 160 becomes zero so this is the perfect elastic and this is the perfect inelastic because that the quantity demanded does not change at any level of price the quantity demanded does not change and the revenue will change in the same direction for example when the price was 5 rupees the quantity demanded was 2 kg so the revenue total revenue was at that time 10 so the when the price is 10 the quantity demanded is 2 so the quantity demanded remains same the revenue is 20 so the revenue changes in the same direction under perfect inelastic demand remember it that the revenue changes in the same direction so the third type is relative elastic demand number third is relative elastic demand it is also called elastic greater than one we are talking about now the relative elastic demand it means this is the the demand could be relatively elastic or elastic is greater than one when we say that the minor change in price brings a major change in quantity demanded for example when the price was op the quantity demanded was oq but when the price decreases from op to op dash the quantity demanded increases from oq to oq dash so the gap the distance between op and op dash is minor but the difference between or the gap between OQ and OQ is major or that the minor change in price brings major change in quantity demanded it means this is a relative elastic demand in this case the price elasticity of demand is greater than 1 so the price elasticity of demand is greater than 1 and the fourth case is relatively inelastic In this case relatively inelastic demand means when a major change in price when the op drops from op dash the quantity demanded increases from oq to oq dash it means this is the gap between op and op dash is major the price fall is major but the quantity demanded increase is minor it means the major change in price brings the minor change in quantity demanded is called relatively inelastic demand in this case the price elasticity of demand is less than 1 so and the demand curve is steeper in this case the demand curve is steeper whereas in case of the relative elastic demand the demand curve will be flatter the demand curve will be so the demand curve is flatter in the case of the relative elastic demand Whereas in case of the relatively inelastic demand, the demand curve will be steeper. Number fifth is unit elastic demand. And in the relate, uh, relatively elastic demand, the revenue changes in the opposite direction. Remember it. The revenue changes in the opposite direction because the quantity increases or decreases with respect to change in price. The fifth case is unit elastic demand. In this case, that the quantity demanded changes to the same proportion of the change in price. For example, when the price decreases by 10%, the quantity demanded increases by the 10%. Or when the price decreases by 5%, the quantity demanded increases by 5%. For example, when the price is 10, the quantity demanded is 100. When the price is 5, the quantity demanded increases from 100 to 200. So it becomes double. So it means this is the unit elastic demand. In this case, the price elasticity of demand is equal to 1. 
So it is all about the elasticity and types of elasticity of demand. If we summarize, we can say that elasticity is simply a response of consumers to change in price. Consumer changes quantity demanded with respect to change in price. It means it's elastic demand. When the quantity demanded does not change, it means the this is an elastic demand and there are five types of elasticity of demand perfect elastic, perfect inelastic, relative elastic, relative inelastic and unit elastic demand in case of the perfect elastic demand a minor change in price leads the quantity demanded almost to zero or infinity whereas in case of the perfect inelastic demand means that the, where the quantity demanded does not respond to change in price and the relative elastic or the elastic greater than one major change in price brings minor change in quantity demanded and the relatively inelastic or relative inelastic demand means the major change in price brings minor change in quantity demanded and unit elastic demand means the proportional change in quantity demanded with respect to the proportion of the price so it's all about the elastic and types of elastic of demand I hope it would be clear to all of you elastic and inelastic concept and types of elastic of demand. Thank you for watching.